new computer because we are going on vacation. But let's first get ready for today's session. All right, so the market is pretty hot and it's actually a good time to be a day trader at the moment because we're seeing a lot of action and not just in small caps, so in the bigger cap stock. So we're seeing liquidation in the banks area and it creates a really, really good opportunity that are super liquid and you can trade with as much size as you want. Yesterday, some more news came out about that subject. So everything is gapping down. So it might be kind of the end of the move for the moment. Hopefully we get more action in different sector, but right now, that was kind of the money machine and um, the ATM as lens like to call it where you know you just had to be in that sector and just trade every time there's a news. So I just finished the morning session. It is 12 p.m. and Honestly, I don't know what to say, but it's been like best day after second best day after third best day. And I can't complain, honestly. I haven't had like a red day in a while and all my green days are really big. Pretty stoked. I wasn't expecting that today. I thought it was going to be slower, but it ended up being really, really good. So the main trade was on wall. So W-A-L. And it just got halted when I was short and it opened like after multiple halts, like 10 bucks lower. So I mean, you just do the math, no matter how much shares you had, you just made a bunch of money. All right, so what I had before for my day trading setup, like traveling setup wise, I had a MacBook Pro like this. This one is a 2020, has 16 gig of RAM. It's like an Intel i5, I believe. It did the job, but the main thing was that it's a Mac. It doesn't run Windows natively. So I was having a bit of like Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or connection issues. And that was like the main thing. Except for that, it was actually running pretty well. With that laptop, I also had, of course, a little charger, but most of it had a bunch of dongles. Um, I didn't take everything out, but I had like three extension or two extension dongles like this. And I also needed one external monitor and also a second one because the screen was quite small on this computer. It's a 14 inch or 13 inch actually. So what I did now is I upgraded to this big, it's a Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 5, 16 gig of RAM also, and it has an i7 inside and SSD like 500 gig, and it's an RTX 3070 Ti, which is a really good graphic card. So if ever I wanna connect it to some external monitor at some point, it's gonna be good to go. And this is pretty important because if I plan on staying the next winter somewhere for a few months, like I was supposed to this winter, I went to Colombia, I was supposed to be there for one month and I stayed one week because I had computers issues. With this, because it's a bigger computer, the best thing about it is that I only need one screen because the full real estate of this this screen over here, which is 2560 by 1440p resolution with this one, which is the same resolution makes about the same as those three screen I had before together. That's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoy. If you do like and subscribe, everything will be linked down in the description. Peace.